What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are on our way to the museum! Museum! Museum. Where are we going? Where are You got an Oreo now? What happened with the dates? I gave her dates, but now she has Oreos magically. That's weird. <laughs> I gave in. I gave in. <laughs> you gave in. It was but... the, the only way to get her into the car seat. <laughs> I feel you. Human beings always need that reward. <laughs> so we missed the museum uh, entrance how many times? Three times? Yep. Wow, three times, huh? A couple of times. <laughs> but finally we have made it to the IMA. Here it is. Bam. Check this out. Wow. What an entrance. Here we are, the outside parking lot, and there's the museum. It's a cold day today. It's very cold, actually. It's Indiana, you know. How do you like this cold, bro? <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty cold. It's pretty cold, yes. It's pretty cold. <laughs> Where'd spring go? It was here for like two seconds, <laughs> and then it left. Okay, yes. <laughs> Let's <line dikte. laughs> Thank you, man. This is so much better. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's really cool. Huh? It's pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> this one is extraordinary. Yeah. Look at the amazing use of colors on this painting. That is extraordinary. It's beautiful. Look at this realistic painting, man. This is amazing. And it's like all just dots. All just different colors. Let's see if we can focus on it. Yeah, it's just dots. Look at this. It's just dots. And it leads to this. Wow. And this one uh, is really cool. It says the unusual subject of sheep grazing amid a row of electricity poles. Maybe the artist's wry commentary on the interaction of rural life and industrialization. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. This painting is so realistic. Shame, 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 shame. Look at the reflection in the lake. How beautiful, look how precise this is. That is amazing. That is beautiful. <laughs> These are old ancient artifacts now to us. Oh, well, look at this alarm clock. Dude, I remember you, this iron in Pakistan, it's this type. Mm -hmm. It's the best iron. This looks really nice. Cheap yeah. watch. They have anything up, Dragon? No, he won't bite. He was sculpture.
this is slowly, slowly cooking. ये सीट है और कैसा लग रहा है यहाँ पर हाँ हम्म let's go ये कहाँ है हम look at this wow wow look at this wow ये देखा आपने wow We got bored of the European art, so we're going to floor three for the uh, African Ocean art, Asian art, and uh, contemporary design. Hum yahan tabhi the. What is this? <laughs> this is pretty cool. Is the African art section here? This is if you like really want to up your jadoo game, get get it in the gold plated. Wow, made with the real hair. Oh yeah, it actually is uh, was used for uh, keeping insects away. So yeah, guys, step up the jadoo game. Let's check it out. Hataji, Hataji, yeah, they could you. Outside view of the uh, museum here. Yeah. That is amazing. I like that that dagger back there. Yeah. Look, quality, man. Look at that. Majestic. Majestic. The tiger to the heart. It's a really interesting looking core. The bigger tone. Up again we go. Where uh, we're going now? Which um, exhibit? I don't know where it's going. Contemporary okay. art. Contemporary art. Contemporary. So my favorite so far would probably have to be the you know the Asian art. Yeah. There's a lot more. I like the uh, variety yeah. of stuff. Okay, European art kind of gets boring. The modern art is very interesting. There's a uh, line that's like whoosh, whoosh, goes all the way to there. Wonder what that means. The modern art. It's like the modern times. You can't understand anything. Like what the hell is this? That's why. <laughs> you got shapes on the wall. <laughs> oh wow. This is really crazy. Alright, so that was about it. We saw the uh, whole museum. Yeah. What did you guys think? Oh, it was quite amazing. Amazing? Ex quite exquisite. Exquisite? Yes. Yeah, it was very nice. I really liked yeah, it nice. a lot. I think my favorite um, piece. Mm -hmm.
is uh, this one right here. Yeah, that's of course, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> modern art, hashtag modern art. <laughs> Did you enjoy museums enough? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite exhibit? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're done here. Now we're going, uh, going home. Definitely worth a visit, I would say, this museum. Especially on Thursdays. Every month. First Thursday of the month, for free. Okay, be careful here. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Come here, yeah, book reach. Yeah, so my favorite uh, exhibit had to be uh, the Asian exhibit, the Japanese, um, or the uh, Chinese, or the or Oriental artwork, especially the ceramic pieces, the um, handcrafted materials. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I also really loved the uh, European style with the uh, dots <laughs> and how realistic they were when you kind of step back. So. And then my least favorite would have to be the the uh, contemporary or modern art. I mean, I don't know. I don't really get what a blank white canvas is about. So maybe that's just me. But I mean, some of the stuff was really cool. But overall, that was my least favorite. Huh? She's she's right there. Oh, mama, right there. So yeah, definitely worth the visit. Uh, especially like I said, free. Sometimes they have special exhibits. Like uh, we came a while back and they had the Islamic exhibit. Now that was really cool, so I think it's important to just come visit museums just because you know you learn a lot, learn a lot about different cultures, different backgrounds, you know learn learn a lot about history, and you kind of get an appreciation for how things used to be um, handmade, and now uh, things are like produced on a grand scale with machines and things like that. So that handwork, that's that's to me is just priceless. Okay, let's go. All right here it is, the Indiana. Museum of Art. Yeah, so I keep saying Indiana, it's Indianapolis Museum of Art. But yeah, you should uh, definitely bring your uh, children to the museum, you know, if they're young. Uh, you can, you know, usually bring them to the museum as long as they're quiet. We had uh, other, we saw other uh, parents who had uh, kids even younger than, than our daughter. And, uh, you know, it's good for them. It helps them grow, expand their mind. They see different things, colors, objects that they're not familiar with. And that's, uh, that's the only way that, as a civilization, I feel like we can you know, progress is if we know uh, more about, you know, other cultures, other peoples, you know, the history of that, of the world and other civilizations. So, definitely start them young. And uh, now we're going to go home and cuddle by the fireplace.